Hey guys, so the Apple event just wrapped up, and to be honest, it was a bit of a letdown. Uh, so while they did announce a couple of new things, there was really nothing dramatically brand new. There was no iPhone 5, no new iPod Touch. It really wasn't a whole lot new, but they did announce a couple of things, so we'll go ahead and go over them. So the first and most important of which is the new iPhone 4S. I know we had long been rumored that there would be a 4S. Most of the people, myself included, expected there would be a 5, you know, above it and actually, but Turns out that there's no going to be no iPhone 5 this year. In fact, we're going to be stuck with the 4S. Uh, now, if you guys were interested in 4S, there are a couple of new changes from the 4, but to be honest, it's not a major update. So you will find the, the dual-core Apple A5 processor from the iPad. So we'll have a decent amount of power. It also will have a new 8 megapixel camera, which does look awesome. I'm definitely not going to say anything about that. The camera does look great. And on top of that, it will be available with a 64 gigabyte variety. Uh, now, beyond that, there really wasn't a whole lot new. It still has basically the same design as the iPhone 4. There's no new tear teardrop design or anything like that. Uh, it will be available on AT&T, Verizon, as well as Sprint. Um, so, you know, not too bad. If you guys are interested in picking up the 4S, it will be on sale for pre-orders in a couple of days, I believe October 7th. It will be on sale October 14th. Uh, now moving on, there was a new iPod Touch model, but again, it was, really wasn't that new. It was just the iPod Touch that we have today with a new color. Uh, so, not a big deal, although if you guys are interested in it, the 8GB model is now down from $230 to $200, so not too bad. Lastly, there was the iPod Nano. Again, not a major update if you guys are starting to get the theme here, uh, but it does, does now have the Nike Plus sensors built in, as well as it has a little bit of a UI change where instead of having the four small icons on the screen, you can now change it to have one. In addition, there are also lots of new, new clock faces, although there's still no wrist strap, which kind of sucks. But if you guys are interested in using it a watch, there are several new cool uh, clock faces, including a Mickey Mouse one and quite a few others. Uh, price drop was definitely needed, but there's no cameras or nothing, anything really all that new. Uh, and last thing was Siri. Now, Siri was definitely the biggest thing in this entire announcement. It is basically voice control times about 100. Uh, so what you can do is you can ask your iPhone or iPod Touch like real like actual questions like, um, do I need an umbrella today, or um, I don't know, what's the weather, or what's 500 times 300, or whatever. You can actually ask it some real questions instead of having to use like a uh, previous. You had to say, you know, the actual words like, you know, what change song to, or whatever. You can actually just pretty much talk to it freely. Uh, now it does look like this is going to require data, so it's not going to be specifically on the 4S, which it is exclusive to. Uh, so if you guys are interested in it, I would highly be surprised if we don't have a jailbreak tweak out to get on you know, the older devices like the iPods and the iPhone. Uh, so anyway guys, it's going to be about it. If you guys are interested in picking up the iPhone 4S, again, you'll be able to pick it up. Uh, Pre-order it October 7th. Uh, it will run pretty much the same pricing, so it'll be $200 for the 16 gigabyte model, $300 for the 32 gigabyte model, and $400 for the 64 gigabyte model. And again, all of those are on contract in the United States. So overall, guys, I'm really curious to know what do you think. Uh, to be honest, it was a big letdown for me. I mean, the camera on the 4S looks nice. Um, I can't say that I really was, you know, expecting anything on the iPod front, but I was really hoping for the iPhone 5. We didn't see it, so, uh, no, no, not a big deal. So anyway, guys, again, definitely be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. It really helps spread the word about all the new product information. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.